Shalom, shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Yahweh Kakodash, Yahweh, which is the only true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ, but his only true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Green Millstone, because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole full elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, push your forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am Mashiach Arazaka. Salakia, for the tribe again, cover the spirit. And uh, pretty much, I don't really have a title on this lesson. I'll probably come up with one when I upload the video. But, um, you know, this is pretty much going into um, our forefathers breaking the old covenant. Alright, they didn't keep the laws, statutes, and commandments. So, um, you know, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. This is uh, Jeremiah 17 and 4. It says, Thou even thyself shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. It says, For ye have kindled a fire in my name, in mine anger, Salakia, which shall burn forever. Right. Our forefathers didn't keep the law, statutes, and commandments. All right, they broke the old covenant. All right, so by our forefathers breaking the old covenant, the Lord discontinued us from our heritage. Meaning what? He discontinued us, all right, of our nationality, of our land, you know, who we are as a people. All right, and we were scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. All right, and we're gonna read Second Kings because Second Kings goes into the wickedness of our forefathers all right and i'm gonna get it out right now lord willing this lesson is edifying this is second kings 17 and i'll start let me see where i want to start at. yeah i'll start at verse 7 and we're gonna read all the way down to verse 22 all right and this is why when you read Jeremiah 17 and 4, the Lord discontinued us from our from our heritage, all right? Because our forefathers, they didn't keep the law, statutes, and commandments, all right? They broke the old covenant, all right? This is 2 Kings 17, 7. It says, For so it was that the children of Israel had sinned against the Lord, their power. It says, which had brought them out, out of the land of Egypt from under the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and had feared other gods. All right. And that's what our people did. They walked after other gods. They worshipped other gods. They forsaken their true power to worship these heathen gods man these false gods all right these false gods they forsaken their true power to worship false gods was went into idolatry all right and that was one of the main laws that the lord gave our forefathers going into exodus 20 and 2 a matter of fact i'll get that out really quick this is exodus 20 and verse 2 exodus 20 and 2 it says i am the lord thy power which have brought thee out of the land of egypt out of the house of bondage verse 3 thou shalt not thou shalt it says thou shalt have no other gods before me verse 4 thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the waters under the earth right so the lord gave our forefathers a codified law to keep and they didn't keep those laws man they didn't keep they didn't keep the law statutes and commandments they broke the old covenant this is ex this is second kings 17 and 7 salakia second kings 17 and 7 it says for for so it was that the children of israel had sinned against the lord their power which had brought them up out of the land 
of Egypt. It says, from under the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and had feared other gods. That's what our people have done. Verse 8, and walked in the statutes of the heathen. And that's what our forefathers have done. And our people are still doing that now. They walk in, in the ways of the heathen. All right. It says, whom the Lord cast out from before cast out from before the children of Israel right because when you go to Leviticus 18 and 24 the Lord cast out the 17 heathen nations all right that's why the Lord told us not to not to uh, defile ourselves he sees the Lord says defile not yourselves therein for I have cast out the heathens from among you just probably paraphrasing let me get that out to lock it in, and we go back to that precept this is Leviticus 18 and 24 Leviticus 18 and 24 it says defile ye not yourselves in any of these things for in these the nations are defiled which I cast out before you right because the Lord is not dealing with these 17 heathen nations the Lord never made a covenant with these 17 heathen nations the Lord only made a covenant with the Israelites our forefathers man all right and here he goes read it again so second Kings 17 and 8 it says and walked in the statutes of the heathen and that's what our forefathers did that's why the scriptures say Proverbs 3 and 31 all right it says envy not the oppressor and choose none of his ways Jeremiah 10 and 2 it says uh, uh, it says uh, walk not in the way of the heathen let me just get that out too so I don't want to butcher the scripture this is uh, Jeremiah 10 and 2 it says, Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. Salakia, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. So, right, we weren't supposed to walk in the way of the heathen. All right, the Lord says, Walk not in the way of the heathen. Learn not the way of the heathen. Salakia, learn not the way of the heathen. All right, and that's what our forefathers did. They, they learnt the way of the heathen. All right, they learnt the ways of the heathen. All right. It says, and walked in the statutes of the heathen whom the Lord cast out from before the children of Israel. Right. We read that in Leviticus 18 and 24. All right. It says, and of the kings of Israel and of the kings of Israel, which they have made. All right. Verse nine, it says, and the children of Israel did secretly those things that were not right against the Lord, their power. Right. Our forefathers didn't serve our power. They didn't, uh, our forefathers didn't serve Yahweh Bashim Hashai. They walked in the way of the heathen. They worshipped the heathen gods and started mingling and learning the ways of the heathen. Scriptures say that in Psalms 106. All right, they mingled amongst the heathen and learned their works, and that's what angered the Lord. All right, that's what angered the Lord. They didn't keep the laws, statutes, and commandments. They broke the old covenant. All right. And that's exactly what our forefathers have done. All right. This is uh, 2 Kings 17 and 9. It says, And the children of Israel did secretly those things that were not right against the Lord, their power, and they built them high places in all their cities from the, from the tower of the watchmen to the, fin to, the, to the fenced city. Verse 10, it says, And they set... And they set them up images and groves in every high hill under every green tree. So this is what the Israelites did. This is what our forefathers done. All right. They started worshiping false deities, man. All right. They weren't walking in the ways of Yahweh Bashim Shai. They didn't keep the law, statutes, and commandments. Verse 11. And there they burnt incense in all the high places. It says, and did the heathen whom... The Lord carried away before them and wrought wicked things to provoke the Lord to anger. And that's what our forefathers did. They provoked the Lord to anger. All right. Verse 12, it says, for they served idols. They did idolatry. It says, whereof the Lord has said unto them, ye shall not do this thing. Right. They start doing idolatry. All right. Our forefathers started doing idolatry. They start worshiping the heathen heathen gods. All right. Verse three, verse 13, it says, yet the Lord testify against Israel and against Judea. It says, but it says by all the prophets, 
It says, and by all the shears, saying, Turn ye from your evil ways, and keep my commandments and my statutes according to all the law which I commanded your fathers, which I have sent to you by my servant the prophets. See, so the Lord told our forefathers to keep the laws and statutes and commandments. And they didn't keep the law, statutes, and commandments. The Lord told them to turn from their evil ways, and they didn't do it. They kept being wicked, and that's the thing with our people, all right, our forefathers. That's why the Lord have us in a temporary punishment now where we're at the bottom, because every time the Lord will send a deliverer to deliver us out of captivity, we'll be on track, and then we'll start falling off track. We'll get back on track, and then through time, we'll start falling off on track. You'll have a generation they'll be on track and then when they will have that next generation they'll be off track and then we'll fall off again and then go right back into captivity again for not keeping the law statutes and commandments so this is what this is the reason why today we're at the bottom all right verse 14 it says now withstanding they would not hear it says but harden their necks like to the neck of their fathers that did not believe in the lord their power and this is how our people behave today. The same way how uh, we were in these in, uh, in ancient times in these scriptures. All right. This is how our people are doing amongst earth right now. They're not seeking their power. They're in the ways of society. They worship Esau. They're in the ways of, of this society. Verse 15. It says they reject his statutes and his covenant that he made with them, with their fathers. It says in his testimonies which he testified against them and they bowed and they followed vanity and became vain and went after the heathen see that were round about them and that's what our forefathers done that's what the israelites did in the ancient time they followed the way of the heathen and the lord told them not to do that and they followed the way of the heathen all right the lord commanded us not to do that and our forefathers broke the old covenant following the ways of the heathen all right and it's in the scriptures i'm reading it right now they follow vanity and became vain and went after the heathen that were round about them concerning whom the Lord had charged them that they should not do like them. Right. The Lord gave us a codified law. He didn't want us to be like these 17 heathen nations. All right. That's why the Lord gave our forefathers a codified law to keep. But they didn't keep the law, statutes and commandments. They broke the old covenant. Verse 16. It says and they left all the commandments of the Lord. This is what our forefathers done. They left all the commandments of the Lord, their power, and made them molten images, even two calves, and made a grove, and worship, and worship all the hosts of heaven, and serve Baal. And that's Baal. And that's what our forefathers did. They worshiped Baal. They went in the way of the heathen. They started worshiping gods. They started sacrificing them, their children onto the God, onto that God, and etc. That false deity, man. Verse 17. And they caused their sons and their daughters to pass through the fire and use divinations and enchantments and sold themselves to do evil in the sight of the lord to provoke him for anger and that's what our forefathers done verse 18 it says therefore the lord was very angry with israel and removed them out of their sight out of his sight there was none left but the tribe of judah only and this is what this is what the lord did to the northern kingdom the northern kingdom fell first all right, the, when Solomon sinned, all right, the kingdoms were split into two kingdoms. So you had the you had the southern kingdom and you had the northern kingdom. All right, the northern kingdom fell first. So the only kingdom that was remain left remaining was the southern kingdom. All right, that's what this scripture is saying. Verse thirty, verse eighteen, it says, "Therefore the Lord was very angry with Israel, and removed them out of his sight, and there was none left but the tribe of Judah only, which was the southern kingdom." All right. Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. All right. Verse 19, it says, Also Judah kept not the commandments of the Lord, their power. It says, And walked in the statutes of Israel, which they have made. They were wicked. They went worshiping other gods and things like that. They went away from the law, statutes, and commandments. They broke the old covenant. Verse 20, it says, And the Lord rejected all the seed of Israel and afflicted them and delivered them into the hands of the spoilers. And that's what we're going to going through right now in this present time. Due to this that we're reading, that the scriptures, due to the, the disobedience of, of our forefathers, that's why we're suffering these afflictions today. All right? And that's why the Lord scattered us throughout the four corners of the earth when you read Deuteronomy 28 and 64. All right? It says, And he 
It says, until he had cast them out of his sight. All right. Verse 21. For he rent. It says, for he rent Israel from the house of David. And they made Jeroboam the son of Nebat king. And Jeroboam drove Israel from following the Lord. And made them sin a great sin. And that's what Jeroboam did. He led the southern kingdom. All right. Into wickedness. All right. And they went away from worshiping the Lord. All right. Verse 22, for the children of Israel walked in all the sins of Jeroboam, which he did. They departed not from them. They didn't depart from them. Jeroboam led the, Is dead, led the Israelites into, you know, servitude. Basically, you know, breaking the law, statutes, and commandments. He led the Israelites into wickedness. Salakia. Verse 23, it says, until the Lord removed Israel out of his sight. That's what the Lord did. As he had said by all his servants, the prophets, so was Israel carried away out of their own land to Assyria unto this day. Right. The Assyrians came. The, the, the Assyrians came in. All right. And we went into captivity to the Assyrians. All right. And that's basically what happened. If you read down, it goes into that. It goes into the Israelites going into captivity to the Assyrians. So that's basically why. We're suffering these afflictions today. Our forefathers broke the old covenant. They didn't keep the law, statutes, and commandments. All right. So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. As a matter of fact, I get out that last precept that I said I wanted to get out. It's Deuteronomy 28 and verse 64. All right. So, now you know when you read 2 Kings, the wickedness that our forefathers was doing. That's why when you read Deuteronomy 28 and uh, 64, this is why this came upon us. All right. This is exactly why this came upon us. You see all the wickedness that our forefathers done. Deuteronomy 28, 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people, which the Lord did. He scattered us and gave us to the spoil. When you read 2 Kings 17, 18, the Lord said that. He gave the Israelites to the spoilers because they didn't keep the laws and statutes and commandments. All right. It says from one end of the earth, even onto the other. The Lord scattered us throughout the four corners of the earth from one end of the earth, even onto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods which neither thou nor thy fathers have known even wood and stone and that's what that's the curse that was brought upon us as a people we were scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth into the hands of these 17 heathen nations all right so hey man our forefathers broke the old covenant they didn't keep the law statutes and commandments so that's why we're suffering this punishment today so lord willing this lesson was edifying to next time i say mm -hmm.